Hey everyone, and welcome to the channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of antennas used in satellite communication. We'll explore different types, focusing on how they work and their advantages. Let's get started. At its core, an antenna is essentially a transducer, it converts electrical signals into electromagnetic waves and vice versa. Now, let's look at some key types. First up, we have mechanically steered antennas. These are like the classic, robust workhorses of satellite communication. XY antennas think of them as having two axes. The x-axis controls the elevation, pointing the antenna up and down. The y-axis controls the azimuth, moving it left and right. This precise movement allows them to track satellites as they orbit the Earth. Another common type is the azimuth elevation, oz l mount. It works similarly, with one axis for horizontal rotation, azimuth, and another for vertical rotation, elevation. These are widely used for their versatility. Now, let's talk about a more modern approach, electronically steered arrays, ESAs. Phased arrays these use multiple antenna elements. By carefully adjusting the phase of the signals emitted from each element, the beam can be electronically steered without any physical movement. This offers several advantages, faster beam steering, improved tracking of LEO satellites, and greater flexibility. Flat panel antennas are a type of phased array. They're compact and integrate electronics directly into a flat surface. This makes them ideal for user terminals and some ground stations. Reflector antennas use a curved surface to focus and direct radio waves. They are known for their high gain and low side lobe levels, making them essential for high performance links and ground stations. Finally, we have microstrip antennas. These are printed circuit board, PCB, based, offering a compact and lightweight solution. They are often used in user terminals and smaller ground stations. So, there you have it. A brief overview of some key antenna types used in satellite communication. Remember, the choice of antenna depends on factors like the specific application, desired performance, and cost considerations. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe for more on satellite technology. And feel free to leave any questions in the comments below. See you in the next video.